Oh shit, right, let me blow this bad boy up. Right, one shot and that chip is very wobbly. Two shots and it just disappears. Sorry, did they not have an animation for the ship crashing? It just <laughs> turned into dust. What the heck was that? <laughs> ah, Halo, a competitive shooter set in a world where the greatest universe ending threat is none other than a fungus that was probably created by some alien dude leaving a cheese toasty on the sideboard for too long. Now, of course, as this is a competitive game, you would imagine that it is, of course, perfectly balanced and has no bugs, glitches, or exploits for us to abuse. And to the developer's merit, they have done a decent job in making a fun game. The only issue is that one poor intern has cut a design corner or two and created the most powerful gun in the game, and of course left it available for the player right at the start of the game, and I'm 100% certain that you will walk past it. Now, you see, Halo has many iconic weapons, from the Spartan laser to the gravity hammer, and yet today we will be eating all of those rubbish weapons out of the Pelican's window and instead using the Null Weapon. A weapon so powerful it doesn't exist, it doesn't have a physical form, and it doesn't even use ammunition. So without further ado, I'll show you how to secure this source of power, and then we'll go on a rampage as we banish the banished back into the Shadow Realm with the cheesiest of weapons. So make sure you're sat back, relax, you have a nice warm cup of tea in hand, you might have even liked the video, and most importantly, you've saluted the picture of the Queen that I'm sure all of you have hanging above your computer. Now, let's begin. So, okay, what you've done is you've of course finished the first two quests, you've come all the way out here, and now we're going to enjoy the intern's mistake. All you need to do is simply walk up to the bottom, grapple hook your way up, which uh, is lovely and easy, then you get to these lovely two turrets from a crashed ship. Now, of course, the interesting thing about video games is when developers need to say, add in, I don't know, a turret or a cannon that shoots at enemy things, that needs to actually be a weapon in and of itself. But usually developers go, okay, it's a weapon, but of course, the players can't use it. Otherwise, we'd be handing the players an AA cannon in their hands, which is, of course, too powerful indeed. But sadly, one poor intern has failed to do their job, and if you go over to this final turret here, climb up and simply walk to the end of it, you get a prompt to pick up something. What do we pick up? We've picked up a weapon. A weapon like no other, because this right here is a tank cannon. Now, this weapon is just like any other weapon in Halo that you can pick up. It stays with you when you die, it it does damage and it kills enemies. There's just a few critical differences. Namely, this weapon doesn't use ammunition, so we can fire off a shot and good lord is it loud. It also doesn't even have a model. As you can see, Master Chief, his shadow is buggered. Uh, he's not even moving his legs. He can move his legs with a normal gun, but as soon as he pulls this bad boy out, he just becomes a square, uh, which is fine. Yeah, he looks a little bit derpy, but we love him. Now, this is effectively a tank cannon. As you can see, it takes a little while to reload, but this bad boy hits like a truck. It will want hits every single damn enemy in the game. And as you can see, it's got a nice little bit of an explosive radius. So what we're going to do is just simply blow up all three of those enemies in one shot. Blow up all three of those enemies in one shot. There's another enemy. At this point, we don't really need to aim. We just kind of vaguely gander in the direction of the enemies and, well, they'll just blow up. It's okay. So there we go. This tank cannon is now ours. And good lord, is it bloody overpowered? <laughs> oh yes, you think you're a nice, strong enemy, but I'm afraid even the strongest of enemies aren't going to stand up against what is effectively an entire bloody tank. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, this tank doesn't use ammunition. It's not the most accurate, and you might have to jump on your shots, but otherwise, it's damn perfect. So there we go, we've just completed this little mission, and now our friend is gonna come in and pick us up, but good lord, we have a cannon now, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we do. A bloody powerful one at that, and it also can't even kill us. That's right, we can just shoot the floor, and it's fine. Anyway, let me just just quickly secure this landing zone. Now, this tank cannon is gonna be pretty darn good because guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We're gonna be able to blow up most vehicles in the game using this bad boy. And here comes my pelican, lovely. Let's continue this mission. And wouldn't it be a shame if we kept the stupidly overpowered weapon and it just never went away for the entirety of the goddamn campaign? You wouldn't let that happen, Halo, would you? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't, except you would. Ah, oh, lovely, we found a banished structure. Uh, it's apparently heavily armored, but luckily I have a cannon strapped to me. My body is a weapon in and of itself, so let's go! Ah, oh, it is very good to be back. Goodbye, pelican friend. Oh, there's some enemies down there. And a uh, jump, and a jump, and oh, yes, yeah, like an artillery strike. Oh, this bad boy's good. Oh, this bad boy is good. Oh, look, there's some big old brutey boys down there. Uh, he got yeeted. That one just hit the floor. Yeah, you kind of have to aim up or jump when shooting. It really is designed 
mind would be jump shot, which is good. I love jumping. Let's kill these little grunts. Bless them. They don't want to die, but they always just keep dying. There we go. You're dead. And floor shot. There we go. Floor shot, always surprisingly effective. That was actually ridiculously easy. Right, let us capture this FOB. Right, and what I'll do is I'll also set my waypoint to go and help some of these UNSC squads. Uh, so uh, let's go do that. All right, now there's a squad up there that needs help, so I'm going to go and help them with my tank cannon. All right, so there's a friendly squad over here. Let us go save them. Yes, with our glorious cannon. Oh, fantastic. Oh, you're bad and you're dead. Hello there, humans. You're dead and the humans are now free. We've saved them. All right, you're dead. You need to die. You are also dead. I don't think I can kill friendlies with this, which is good because, um, okay, no, maybe I can. Yeah, I don't think that guy's getting up. <laughs> okay, so I can kill friendlies with this. I just need to be careful where I'm aiming this tank cannon. There we go. I've saved some people. All right, now what I'm going to do is just um, jump down here because I can see some big old brutey boys standing around what I can only presume is, yes, it's a vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. Right. So we're going to just uh, rain hellfire down from above using an artillery cannon and um, yeah, pretty much do a fantastic job. Oh, that one overshot and we're bam. One rock. That looks like some stuff over there. Let's blow that up. Just blow up all of that stuff. Fantastic. Why even be in the same postcode as your enemies when you can just blow them up from afar? All right. Now there is a distress signal coming from over here. So we shall go save Mu and SC uh, units. But actually, oh no, there's some evil dudes and a shoot and dead and a jump and a shoot and a jump and a shoot. Hey, 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 stop shooting that laser gun at me. Okay, you're dead now. Oh, hello there, Jackal. Yep, I'm sorry. The shield, it's not enough. It's never going to be enough. This thing's designed to puncture starships. Okay, now uh, we've arrived at the tower and so we're just going to clear it by simply blowing our way through the uh, front gate here. Shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, just jump and shoot and then jump and shoot and then jump and shoot and he's dead. Oh, hello there, little alien boy and you're dead. Oh, and there's two of you here as well and you're dead. Terribly sorry. Oh, now that's some kind of snipery boy. Such a shame he does not survive. But there are a lot of dudes here. A lot of very powerful dudes. Maybe if I didn't have this gun, this game would be moderately challenging to some degree. Might even die on occasion. Imagine that. Couldn't be me. Oh, well, I saved some marines. I might have killed a few of them in the process, but um, that's okay. Uh, humans, please stay away from me because you may or may not die to the tank cannon and that would be dangerous. Dangerous. Right, and jump and kill, and jump and kill, and of course, a jump and kill. Now, that was a high powered enemy. He even had a little shield on. Uh, look at all of these angry enemy boys. All right, I'm going to free even more humans. That's how great I am. I can just free all of the humans. There we go. You're free humans. We've equipped the humans with weapons of mass destruction. Now, I need to make my way into this room, which is full of enemies, which is completely fine. There we go. We'll just blow all of that up. And uh, also, you. You're dead. And let us end the lockdown of the tower. I'm making my way in. All right, so we now get to go probably kill that elite in some kind of boss battle in a little while, which is good because I want to see how many shots of a tank cannon he can take. Oh, hello there, friend. You're dead. I'm just going to walk up to them and blow up because I can. That's exactly what I can do. Right, the gravity lift is active. I shall go through the lifty time and have a fun old adventure. All right, I need to make my way up this facility. Oh, wait, there's some enemies and dead and and dead and dead. Oh dear. The enemies are just rounding a corner and getting just blown up by a tank. So uh, I do feel kind of bad for them. Oh, hello. Oh, you are one angry boy. One angry dead boy. And so are you. And so are you. You're dead. Oh, hello there. High powered enemy who is dead in one shot. And you tiny alien. Oh, now you're looking good and dead. Oh, this is just fantastic. All right. And up we go again to the third floor and let us open this door and probably have a fun boss fight. Yes, here he is. Ah, uh, boss fight time. Yeah. Yes, perfect. I was excited for this. Oh, there he is. Right. One shot. Second shot. Third shot. Oh, and I accidentally blew myself up on a bit of scenery. Okay, this is the one problem with the tank cannon. Whilst it can't kill me, uh, definitely scenery objects can. Right, so let me blow up half the scenery so I don't have to worry about it. Right, hello there. You can die. Right, there we go. Shooty, shooty, shoot. And damage to you. Ah, uh, angry alien boy versus tank cannon. What can you really do? I have splash damage like no other. Right, there we go. And you're dead. <laughs> Okay, that was surprisingly anticlimactic. Once your shield dropped, you were uh, pretty much dead instantly. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, shit. Right, let me blow this bad boy up. Right, one shot, and that chip is very wobbly. Two shots, and it just disappears. Sorry, did they not have an animation for the ship crashing? It just <laughs> turned into dust. What the heck was that? <laughs> oh, look at that ship. Look at that ship. One shot, and two shot, and that's another ship dead. They really do just disappear in the most derpiest of ways. Right, now, in order to test my prowess even further, I'm going to try and do an assassination quest, which basically
basically involves me crossing 500 meters this way to go murder someone. Oh, and I guess I have to go and help with another distress signal from these puny humans. Oh, wait, no, they're, they're actually still alive. Oh, and there's an enemy ship, right? So I guess that's what they want me to destroy. Oh, yeah, it really does just die with one shot. Well, that's it dead. Uh, have I just saved the day? Oh, no, there's another one. Right, one shot and... Oh, that one looks like it's crashing and it's dead. Guess I also need to kill this one. Yeah, okay, right. This one also needs to die. One shot and two shot. And there we go. I saved the day. That was um, surprisingly easy. Just destroy planes as they slowly land. Oh, dear, dear. Job done. Right, go this way. Kill alien dude. Nice and simple. Ah, oh, there's the guy. Look at him. Pose. If I can stealth my way around, I might be able to um, do a little bit of cheekiness. So uh, I'll just quickly sneak up on here and wha-bam. It's time for me to kill Ignovus the Devourer. There he is. He has got a shield, which means that he will take more than one shot. Okay, he will take a grand total of two shots. Well, <laughs> that's the end of that. Two shots. Two whole shots. Yep, that was one hell of a VIP I had to murder. Oh, now there's a communication tower there. There's also some kind of fight happening between peoples down there, which I guess I could probably help out with. Like, there's some humans and some badmans. So, um, I'll do my best by quickly clearing up these boys. Oh, no, that was my feet. So, jump and shoot. Oh, and there we go. We just killed a tower. Okay, that was a propaganda tower destroyed. Ah, don't fall off the map. Don't fall off the map. Don't fall off the map. Beans. Yeah, um, this is death. This is what death feels like. Well, luckily, even though we die, I still get to keep my stupid overpowered gun. And now to make the crossing. Jump, 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 jump. Grapple hook. And we did it. Smooth. Oh, look, there's even a vehicle. Why not? I haven't tried driving a vehicle. This will be fun. Oh, well, there's an enemy fight going on down there. Yeah, vehicle is definitely not the best weapon for the job. But hey, it will do. Oh, dear. Now, the vehicle is mostly just good so that you can run stuff over, which is um, always good fun. Who doesn't like running people over? Uh, please do not clip that and send it to the police. Oh wow, it's an enemy vehicle. Let's see how long it takes this thing to blow it up. Too long is the answer. This one, however, much better. One shot. One shot. That's good. And I think that's that's all clear. Wow. Look, they even have an RPG here. But the RPG, here's the problem. Sure, it can bring down a ship like that, but it takes probably about two to three shots. This bad boy only has like five rounds of ammunition. That's completely useless. Oh, here's some enemies. Right, bam, you're dead and a jump and fun you're dead and so do you and well bam you're dead come on there's a spartan core around here somewhere and i'd like to get my hands on it is it in here perchance but hey that's a spartan core upgrade which means i can finally upgrade my lovely grapple shots that has a much shorter cooldown lovely now i can truly be the spooder man oh hello there evil enemy that is dead hey little grunt tag you're it and by it i mean completely evaporated hey little jackal roses are red violets are blue i have a bullet and soon it'll be inside of you. Ah, oh, lovely. Now, one thing is for sure, this game is uh, bloody beautiful and actually surprisingly fun. Devs, if you're watching this, I know I've stolen a very super secret gun that I shouldn't have. You've done a good job with the game and also, thanks for giving me the stupidly powerful gun because it allows me to see tiny little grunts off in the distance and do that to them. Now, that is what I call an enjoyable gameplay experience. And just to prove how stupidly powerful this cannon is, I mean, this is a sentinel beam. Of course, it's quite fun, uh, but if I were to say try and shoot this enemy here, uh, it takes ages. It hasn't even got range, so it can't even hit that guy right over there. And it uses up a lot of ammunition, has a long reload. Like, look at that. I can't hit that guy. That's impossible. This guy can't hit. That building over there definitely can't hit. Switch to this guy. Suddenly, yes, I can hit that. I can also hit this guy. That building over there, no problem. Bam, that's a hit. It's blown up now. It's not happy. The other ones, they're shrinking into the ground. That's how concerned they are. That huge mountain over there, you bet your teabag I can hit that bad boy look it's magical now this is a ranged weapon this is a sniper rifle an explosive 75 caliber sniper rifle but a sniper rifle which i don't even think it's 75 caliber what is the caliber of the cannons on the side of the ships now given the fact that it uses the same reticle as the scorpion's cannon i'm gonna hazard a guess and say that it has the same properties which means that this bad boy is firing a 90 millimeter round pure tungsten at the enemy which as you can imagine it's pretty powerful it's a good shot it's gonna blow stuff up and good lord is it loud and proud and beautiful and majestic and vastly superior than all other forms of weaponry and well ladies and gentlemen there you have it that's how to get the most powerful weapon in the entirety of the halo franchise if you want to get it yourself go back onto the map to where you started and go collect it just all the way over here on the crash chip and trust me it's worth it you're gonna love it anyway ladies and gentlemen i've been the spiffing brit playing as the legendary master chief who is now even more powerful than ever before. If you've enjoyed today's video, then make sure to give it a like and hop on down to the comment section and tell me if you're playing this new Halo. Genuinely, I quite like it. I'm interested to hear what you guys
guys feel about it. Naturally, I'm even interested to hear if any of you have ever played Halo, because I know my channel is largely PC gaming people, but even as a PC gamer myself, when all of the Halos released onto Steam, good lord, what a fun time I had playing them. So nonetheless, thank you very much for watching. If you sat there and want more, then why not consider subscribing if you want to see even more games broken and played in very stupid ways. And as always, a huge thank you to each and every one of my amazing Patreons and YouTube channel members. Oh my goodness, these amazing people have make these videos all the more possible. Seriously, thank you very much, and to each and every one of you, hope you have a Merry Christmas. And if you want to see something just like this, then why not watch this video on screen right here, which I think you're going to absolutely enjoy. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have a lovely day, my friends, and goodbye for now.